morning. Love me long time part 10 already. I can't believe 10 parts. I'm back in the hammock. Welcome to any new subscribers. We left it. Gary and B had just had a romantic night and B was starting to talk about having babies for him. And he said to her, well, leave it a few days. Let me have a think about this. Moving on a day, next day, morning, B came round to Gary's condo, picked him up, took him to her condo, where she's pretty much set the office up. And she turned the spare room into an office. So she said, like, this is the business meeting office. He's like, cool. He spent um, the whole day teaching B about etiquette and speaking to his American counterparts, his PA, etc. Started to show her what she could do and couldn't do financially with the business and also what other businesses she could look out for um, to invest if, you, if they wanted to make a bit more money. At this moment, Angela came through on the phone and um, had spoken to the condo builders or the owners of all the condos and previously she would said with the five condos they're purchasing that the condo company might offer them a furniture package and furnish them all out um, as a deal because they were buying five which would have saved them buying all that furniture very clever Angela's come back and said uh, look we will kit them all out for you with basic fit however these are top-end condos. I spoke to the company. If you buy one more condo, we will fit them all out, all six, with high-end fit. So that's, that's quite a lot of money, of furniture and TVs and packages. And we'll fit them all out with a high-end for you. So, Gary to be, yeah, makes sense. Let's just do it. So, get on to the PA, get it sorted for, to buy another one. And Angela's already picked another good one for them. So, another investment. B organizes it all. Another one's purchased. And they will all be kitted out within a few days, top end. And they'll be ready for rent. Angela also has come through and said, I've got a a customer who wants to rent one um, and we're looking at the costs of the month what do you want we suggest 50,000 baht a month well that's a lot of money Gary and B have a chat and they play around with some numbers and Gary says to B what you should do is maybe drop it to 40,000 baht a month if they sign a one year deal that way we've got uh, almost half a million baht coming in each year, it soon pay for them at that rate. So B chats away to Angela, puts the package on the table for the future customers, and uh, Angela goes off and sorts it all, and eventually signs that customer on a one-year deal. So that's good. They got their first person in, going into a condo, renting. That's starting to get some money back. B's happy. Office is good. Car's good. Uh, Gary says again, well, just wait a couple of months. I'm going to be heading back soon, I think, for uh, a couple of months. So get the limo organised and a driver for when I come back. And B's like, okay. He says to B, I'm really not sure about the having a baby together. He said, originally I came here to get a Thai wife and have kids and have a partner um, and he's our business relationships fantastic you're great everything you've learned and doing it's just fits I just worry if we go into having babies that it could mess things up however he says I'm not going to rule it out and she says okay and he says just don't leave it with me for a few days he said or B says Angela's a really pretty lovely girl and Gary turns around and says she is very pretty 
but she's not of your education and she's not really ideal for me to have kids with. I want someone clever like you if I'm going to have a tight partner. Um, so the kids stand a chance of being intelligent. Whether that make a difference, I don't know. He, uh, he says, but no, leave that one with me for a few days. And B then says to Gary, uh, by the way, I've got another girl in the shop. Uh, the first girl now is the manager, full time, and I've got another assistant part time. I don't need to do anything with the shop. Once a week, pop in. It's just going to run itself. They're going to sort everything, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Just to let you know. And he said, "Well, that's good. You've got it all in place. You've put manager in. That's brilliant. You're handling it well." <sighs> It's just all perfect, isn't it, for Gary? He comes here for a woman and gets a business. <laughs> I don't know. So he he's earning all this money. He's got this huge business. He needs to secure a partner and kids. He's in Phuket. He starts to say to B, if I didn't um, take you up on the offer, what's the way, what's... What's your thoughts? Now you know everything. Is there an easy path for me to find somebody? And B's like, well, the places you're going to meet these girls are in, um, in Phuket, are just going to be in business women, ideally. But to find them, meet them i don't know of a a place like an app or software or anywhere that you're going to meet them where there's a lot of them congregating and he said i have seen these companies online that do agencies the introductions and there's a few on some of those and she said okay he said but is there not somewhere where the high end intellectual would potential women would be congregating as in is there a club a bar is there a, a high-end nightclub and be yes there, there's a few around but i've never really frequented them so i'll have to ask about wow that sun's strong and heat Ooh, how the temperature rises in thailand so quick Plus, I'm being attacked by baby Ryan underneath. She said, I'll try and ask around and see if I can find uh, some, some information for you. And he said, great, okay. So business meeting all over and everything. He says, I'm going to have a wander around today. I want to buy some uh, just bits and pieces, some clothes. He said, I'll catch you tomorrow. So a couple of hours work and he's finished. B cracks on with everything, getting all that condo stuff sorted. Gary then heads off into uh, Patong and he ends up at the shopping mall. The, is it Jung? I can't remember what the name of that shopping mall is. Comments below. Big shopping mall with all the water and everything in it. And pretty dancing water. And he's wandering around there, starting to go to the designer shops as he would buying some nice designer clothes and as always you can't go anywhere without meeting people and he's in a shop that's I don't know which one it was he just said it was a clothing shop and he was looking through clothes usual sales assistants around but the manageress, again another shop woman, manageress, came and started chatting to him and showing him some other bits and pieces, shirts and stuff. Very pretty, very intelligent. There's a pattern here. Gary falling in love with shop girls. Isn't there a movie about that? Tom Hanks. Is it you've got mail? Hmm. Shop girl. 
And yeah, he starts chatting to this new manageress shop girl. It is deja vu for him. She's really, really nice. And he starts asking her questions. Are you single? Are you free? Have you got kids? The basic chat up lines that he can manage. Ron, baby Ron, what are you doing? Um, so, uh, and single, 33 years old, no kids. Did he ask the question, can you have kids? Mm, that one should have been a good one. And she's very, he's spending money. He's spending serious money there. So she, she already knows he's got money. That's the way he's dressed. And uh, she's single. He's single. And he doesn't beat around the bush anymore. He's Whether he's built up confidence because of B, because of Angela, um, he's straight out. Do you fancy a meal? Do you fancy going out for dinner? And we're going to call this girl A. Just help my memory. <laughs> and A's like, I don't normally go out with customers. Yeah. But, yeah, I'd love a, I'd love a meal. Go out with you for a meal. I don't mind. She a pretty, is she as pretty as Angela? No. But she's still very pretty. Um, average build, slim, nice attire, nice clothing, even though it's uniform, sort of. He says that uh, she just stood out from the rest, from what he said. He's got nothing on that evening. He says we can do it this evening. She's working till about six o'clock. Um, she lives in Phuket town. Down by the the ferry terminal that goes off to PP Island and Krabby. Um, she doesn't have a car. She uses public transport. She hasn't got a bike by the sounds of it. So he says, "Well, is there restaurants and things where you live?" And she's yes. He said, "Well, can you give me your address? I'll get a, a cab or whatever, and I'll come and pick you up." She said, can we make it eight o'clock? Give me time to get home, changed, and all the rest of it. And he's like, yeah, okay. So he set up another date. Spends loads of money, loads of bags. And off he goes. He's got another date, just like that. So there are lots of Thai ladies. Normal girls working in all these shops and restaurants. That can fit the bill for him. He's just got to put the legwork in, the time, date a lot of women, run, just date a lot of women, I suppose, and see if he can find the right one. Oh, that's hot. Starting to sweat. Oh, good. So he goes home, tries all his new kits on, has a chilling, chill out afternoon. Come evening, same old story, gets dressed up. Rings B, tells her what he's doing, and gets P, that driver, to come and get him. Gives P the address, and off they go. They find the address. It's not far. Garland's not that big. Pick her up. She uh, guides the driver to a middle-of-the-road restaurant. It's not what he's used to. It's sort of a just an average Thai restaurant, really. But it's a mixed food. She speaks uh, really good English as a manager. She's been in the retail ever since leaving uh, university. So she's been in there a good uh, eight years or so in the retail management. Promising. They get to this middle of the class restaurant. Eventually Gary finds some food he likes orders it all and they spend the night chatting and drinking normal date turns out she can have kids he asked all the direct questions she started asking him about him and he gave her some information now that he's a business has a business in Phuket um, 
He's got, he explained about B. He's got a personal assistant who works for him. Covered that one quickly. And that he didn't mention that he was looking for a wife and kids. Thought he wouldn't say too much. End of the night. Everything was good. He liked her. Taxied her home. Decided on that by the end of the night that he wouldn't mind seeing her again. Asked her if she had a day off. And she had Sunday off on this particular week. A couple of days time. So he arranged for her, for them to spend the day together. He said, I'll pick you up. You're home. About 10 in the morning. We'll do something together for the day. Come on, plan it. We'll just do something. And he's very happy. She's uh, had a lovely evening. What can you say? Where's it going to go? Could be. She is the one. <laughs> She's the one. B seems okay with it all. She's still hoping possibly that she'll be the one to provide him children. Hmm. So we've got A, we've got B, we've got Angela. How many more is there? How long does it take him to find this woman? Which one will he end up with? Well, I can tell you that it is going to be a, either A, B or Angela that Gary does something with. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Don't want to ruin the story. Hope you have a great weekend, week. Catch you next time. You so cute baby Ron. Huh? Which one's it gonna be? A, B or Angela? Don't know. I hope it's B. See you soon guys.